Hello there. So let's talk about uh, the coordinate system in OpenGL. OpenGL uses the right-handed coordinate system, uh, which means the positive z-axis is uh, going towards you, so through the screen. Uh, let me show you. So the positive x axis going where your thumb points, the positive y axis goes where your uh, pointer finger points, and the positive z axis goes uh, where your middle finger points, so towards the screen. And this is the left-handed. Uh, I think DirectX uses left-handed uh, coordinate system, which is the same. The Y and the X is the same, and uh, positive Z points away from you. So, okay, uh, I'm just created a cube. And I put the, the cube into its local space, so every 3D object starts in its loca local space. So let me run the program. So now this cube, as you see, I'm getting the vertices uh, inside the shader with this vector free position, and I'm giving the GL underscore position, the vector three, vector four position, and 1.0f, which is a W value. And uh, so let's put this uh, model into world space. So I'm going to show you here in learnopengl.com the spaces. So every object starts at local space. And with the model matrix, you putting the uh, model from local to world space. And from the world space, with the view matrix, we are putting the whole world into view space. And lastly, with the projection matrix, we are putting it to uh, the whole scene into clip space, or it, it is the normalized device coordinate, which means it ranges from negative one to one and on the x, and negative one to one to one to uh, on the y axis. And lastly, it automatically performs so-called viewport transformation, which puts the this normalized device coordinate or the clip space into screen space. So now, the instead of this in the clip space, the, the zero zero coordinate is in the center, and in the screen space, the zero zero coordinate is in the lower left corner, and it goes from uh, to Windows width and Windows height. So in our cases. Uh, in our case, it is 1280 bar by 720. So let me show you how to put this model into world space. So I already imported from Peer the matrix 44 and the vector 3. And uh, I'm gonna uncomment this line. We just we just create uh, the a translation from a vector three. So we need to need to uncomment this MVP or model view projection, but. Uh, now it's just the M, so I'm gonna just delete this VP 
and we need to send this value down uh, to the vertex shader with this GL uniform matrix 4FV. So it is still the same. Oh, wait a minute. I have this uniform matrix 4M. I need this M to be multiplied with this vector 4 position. So now our model is still in the same place, but now in, in it's it's in the world coordinate system. Uh, so I I can change its let's say x value. So I'm going to move the cube to the right. Um, let's say its y value to up one. So I'm going to change it back to zero, and now we need the so-called. So we have the model matrix. We need to, to put the model into the view with the view matrix. So let's uncomment this view matrix. And uh, now I'm going to change this to MV because it's model view. This to MV and this to MV. And in the vertex shader, of course, this to MV and this to MV. So now uh, uh, yes, one last thing. Uncomment this line. So in my PyOpenGL series uh, season one, I, I uh, uploaded or all the model view and projection matrices uh, with this GL uniform matrix 4FV into the vertex shader and I just multiplied it there so it was it was looking like this model view and projection but now I am going to send down the whole model view projection matrix into the vertex shader, so I'm going to change this back to M MV and I'm going to use the peer modules matrix 44 that multiply the model with the view so it returns a new matrix the model view matrix and Okay, so now we need to change this model to MV. Mm, okay. So it's still the same, but now it's in the the whole whole world space. Now it's transferred into view space or transformed into view space. So I I can change the view, but let's say change back this to zero and uh, change the view, let's say negative three. Now our box won't be visible or yes, it, it's not visible anymore because we need one more matrix and this is the projection matrix, which puts everything from view space, view space into clip space. So I'll uncomment this projection matrix and this uses the peer modules matrix 44 that creative, cr create a perspective projection matrix with the first value is a field of view so it's 45 degrees the aspect ratio, which I calculated up here, which is just a window's width 
divided by the window's height, so 1280 divided by 720. Uh, and this is the near clipping plane, and this is the far clipping plane, which is, uh, let me see, this is the orthographic projection, and we are using the perspective projection. So, as you see, this is a near clipping, this is a far clipping plane, and everything between these two planes are visible, and outside this plane, these two planes, or this viewing frust frustum, gets discarded or clipped. And this shows you the uh, field of view. Oh, this is Blender. So now I'm going to uncomment this line and this is the new matrix which is the MVP or model view projection gets multiplied the model view gets multiplied with the projection matrix and it returns the new matrix into this MVP so now I'm going to change this to MVP here to MVP here to MVP location and I'm going to send vertex to the vertex shader the MVP matrix and uh, of course here change this to MVP and here to MVP so now let's run okay now our cube is visible and let's put it one unit on the X. So as you see the projection matrix creates this depth as, as uh, the back side of the cube appears to be smaller than the front side. And uh, this uh, perspective is thanks to the fourth component of our uh, which, which is W component of our vertices and it is explained here that each component of the vertex coordinate is divided by its W component giving smaller vertex coordinates the further away vertex is from the viewer this is another reason why the W component is important <coughs> since it helps us with perspective projection. So if I put this W uh, instead of 1 to 0, uh, nothing will be visible. So let's change it back to 1. And our cube is visible. And as I know, if let's say we have a vector 1, 2, 3, so the x, y, z, and if it's, a, if it's w component is 0, it's a direction vector, it's a direction vector, and let me copy this. And if its W component is 1, it's a point vector. Or a, rather, I'm going to call it location vector. Direction only has a magnitude and direction, so it's not visible. But a location vector is, it, or a point vector, it has a location, so it can be visible. So this was just a little bit of vector math. <laughs>